Okay, today we are making what? Chicken pillows. Ambry, what are we making? Chicken pillows. Ander, what are we making? Say it louder. With more enthusiasm. Okay, I cooked this chicken a couple of days ago, so it's ready to go, and we got the juice for the gravy. Juice with chicken. Okay, so they're each going to do their part. <laughs> all right, so first of all, we're going to do. Here's your chicken. Here's your pillow. Make it up. Chicken pillow. Okay, did it pop? Yeah. Well, let's see. I can't see it. Put it up where the camera can see. Uh, all right, so you get these Pillsbury thinger, doer, crescent thingers. I want thingers. to hold this one. Okay, and you got yours ready? Okay. Okay, we're softening the butter in the microwave. And where's the cream cheese? Open that up. We need a cream cheese. Okay, put the cream cheese in. I love it. In where? Oh, Eating that for my knife. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you. So you're supposed to use uh, crackers, but I don't have any, so I'm gonna do breadcrumbs. I just put frozen bread through there. No. Okay. We're mixing the cream, cheese, and the butter. Go ahead, Ender. Creaming the cheese and the butter. Put it off. We put, added the chicken. Okay, next step, you take your mixture and just stuff it in here. Stuff it and roll it. Okay, stuff it and roll it, right? Is that yeah. how you do it? Okay, let's make those a little bit. I won't get them out yet. Stuff them and roll them. Okay, is that right? Yeah. Am I doing it right? Yeah. Okay. mixture. And breadcrumbs. So we do egg. You got pig and bread. Egg. chicken leftovers so maybe I'll thaw out some rolls. But this is the juice from the chicken. I'm going to use that instead of cream of chicken. And this was going to be our gravy. Okay. Alright, so let's put these in the oven. I've got it at 400 degrees. Okay, and the chicken's already cooked so we just need to make the sauce now. Okay, so I'm just going to make a gravy out of this juice. Instead of using cream of chicken soup, I can make my own. Put in two tablespoons of flour. Thicken it up. Do some chicken bouillon. About one teaspoon. And it's called for sour cream, but I don't want the sour cream in there, but if you like it, you put it in. Okay, now this will thicken and it'll just be a gravy that goes over the top. And then I'll put some cheese in it. That sounds good. Okay, just use the juice from the chicken. Alright, I turned it off. Alright, we'll add some cheese. I think I'll add a little bit more water too. It looks kind of thick. Add some water. 
There we go. Yeah, the juice from the chicken's a lot better than canned cream of, chi cream of chicken, but whatever, whatever you want. Doesn't matter. Let me taste it. Mmm. That'll be good. Okay. Okay, I have extra stuff. And I don't, we won't be able to eat it, so I'm just going to save it. Put it in the freezer, and then yeah, we can have that for me and Joe. That'll be enough for like four chicken pillows. So all you do is just put it on a container, write what's on it, what's in it, and the date you find it. So it's Okay, so I just wrote chicken pillow filling 51616, and then that'll be enough for four people. I mean, four pillows. The timer just went off. Oh, those look delicious. <laughs> mommy, mommy, mommy. Mmm, now these will taste a little different than your mom's. Okay, I'll see if you like them. Okay, here's the pillows. There's the groovy gravy. And we're just going to eat. Maybe I'll serve it with some peas. Okay, thank you very much and enjoy.